into race number four, and again, a pretty even field lines up in this race over the 1,650 metres. Loyal Babies placed his last four, carries 133 pounds again. Total power, cheek pieces off, the blinkers go back on. Mission Bravo wears a hood for the first time. We head down to number six, Fairy Floss, who were a crossover nose band for the first time. His best form has been on the all-weather. Evie comes to Happy Valley for his first appearance. Run the table off the all-weather back onto the turf. His best form has been in class five, though. Manor from Heaven, crossover nose band off. The blinkers go on and travel glory. Tom, we saw him last Wednesday night, so he's on the quick turnaround. Yeah, and he found all sorts of trouble on the turn, didn't he? Travel Glory got uh, knocked over and squeezed up against uh, the rail. So he might go forward here, Paul, with uh, Sunny Delight, who I thought might have won one by now, but he's been a little bit, I guess, on the disappointing side. Yeah, we're well, coming to Happy Valley for the first time. He's been uh, placed a few times, so I mean, this might be his course. Uh, he, he's likely to go forward. Manor from he Heaven's got blinkers on. Uh, he'll go forward as well. It's just going to be a fight for that position, I think, uh, with Travel Glory. Um, and uh, Loyal Baby should get a nice run just in behind. And he is where we do start, Loyal Baby. Tom touched on Travel Glory running last week. This is two starts ago for him. Tom, Loyal Baby, so consistent. Just can't find the winning post in front, though. Yeah, and he's got a Zach Purton going back on again. Zach's ridden him in the past, but not recently anyway. And uh, look, he's had every chance again. He's been consistent without winning. He was only hit over the last uh, 75 for metres or so. Travel Glory didn't quite make it in, Paul. But amazing news here. Uh, he was back in the field, but he actually ran better last start. And I think he got a pretty good report card from Jenny in the paddock, too. Yeah, he goes in amazing news. Little baby as well, but you wouldn't want to take a short price. He's a 13 start maiden. We'll see that run that Tom was talking about. Re amazing news in just a moment. Jolly on a Paul and total power. He runs seventh this night, but he does have a good record in class four. Yeah, and the blinkers go back on him. He's one off a rating of 59 and 60. So rating 58 at the moment. So look, he's well rated to win. Uh, and he's got Joe Marrera aboard. Uh, look, the other one, uh, Jolly Honor, I thought he hit the line really nicely as well. So Jolly Honor goes in for me. Yeah, total power certainly carries some interest here, especially with the blinkers uh, going back on. I think he's uh, well rated to uh, run a bold race here. Of course, he has one with the blinkers in the past too. And here is that run, Tom, by amazing news. There he is in those red and white colours, well back turning for home, and he makes strong late ground. Yeah, well, he's been a disappointing horse too, has amazing news. He's run one third in his uh, career here in Hong Kong. It was a two-time winner prior to arriving here. It was a better effort from him on this occasion. He didn't have to come around too many horses, stayed on between runners. But overall, another one, Paul, that's been a little bit uh, disappointing and frustrating to follow. Yeah, definitely. Look, I'm going to put him in on a minor line because maybe he's just acclimatised and he's getting there, but uh, not on top for me. We're on the table, Paul. This is a few starts ago at Happy Valley. It was a great ride from Zach this night. It was in Class 5. He's been around in the all-weather and has struggled when he's come up in grade. He has. And look, I, I gave him a chance on the all-weather, but he didn't run very well at all, to be honest. And uh, look, he's, he's come back up here in grade. So look, I just want to see him do it again. He was checked at the 250 here, but he was he was going backwards at that point. And uh, no wins, no seconds, no thirds, no fourths from 14 tells a story. All right, so I'll put the pen through, run the table. Of the others, Paul, the other 11, who goes in? I'm going to go with one. I'm going to make this my uh, each-way play. He's come up a really good price, I thought. Sunny Delight. He's coming to Happy Valley for the first time. He steps up to 16.50. Um, but we've seen the progeny do that before. Willpower, obviously, Mighty Giant. They, they've all performed well over the 16.50 before. Ultra Express as well. So I don't think the distance is going to be a problem for him. We know he's got that ability. As Tom said, he just hasn't managed to break through. But out of a Tavistock mare, I just think, wonder if Happy Valley might be his course. And at 28 to 1, I'm happy to find out. He's on top. Loyal Baby will come up short, the favourite. Amazing news has been very disappointing as well, but it was a better run last time. And Jolly Honor hit the line strongly. So 7 1, 4 and 5. 1, 2 and 4, and then going a little bit rogue with 3, Mission Bravo, but Loyal Baby uh, gets the chance again with the Zach Purton. Joe Maria rides uh, total power. Blink is going back on, very close to uh, what he's won off in the past uh, 59. He's down to 58 here. Amazing news with better last start. And to Mission Bravo, he's been back to the trials with the blinkers and the hood on and a trial up at uh, Chungfa and was second in that and wasn't really put under too much pressure, I thought, uh, after he was on the speed. So take a chance with him only having his second run here in Class 4. 1, 2, 4 and 3. Race number 4 on Wednesday night is also the first leg of the 6-up.